Hey, hey, Sammy Do coming to you live from Precious World Office Studios. Real estate mentor and coach and investor, founder of the Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. I want to talk to you today about prerequis prerequisites that are necessary uh, in order to be in the real estate investing business. If you uh, ever thought about getting into the real estate investing business or if you are in the business and still trying to get your first or second deal, uh, you definitely want to subscribe to this channel because we come to you from a grassroots standpoint, giving you the golden nuggets, the secret sauce that you're not getting anywhere else. And I want to talk to you about the two prerequisites uh, to be in this business. Sammy Stay Duke, tuned. live from Precious World Studios, doing it again, dropping another golden nugget. isn't for everybody not everybody's cut out for this business so without these two requisites if you can't acquire these prerequisites this could be a money pit for you so this is why I want to give you the raw grassroots truth about how uh, what you would need in order to be successful in this business okay so we're talking about two the two prerequisites that you need in order to get into real estate investing and we've already talked about first one uh, which is a level of education and we also talked about in the video that we did specifically on the level of education that the basically essentially the most effective inexpensive and quickest way to get that education is to acquire a mentor um, even with an education, uh, you, you will probably still need a mentor as well, because I, I spent $50,000 <laughs> for education, but still needed a mentor. Um, uh, you can still learn from a mentor as well, uh, definitely for, for much, much, much uh, less cheaper. All right, so point number two uh, regarding the two prerequisites uh, first was the level of education and second it are a set of skill sets a set of skill sets and in this particular video I want to talk about the skill set of follow-up I want to talk about the skill set of follow-up um, I'm going to give you uh, three tools that uh, you should find helpful that I use uh, in my business and actually, to be honest, in all of my businesses uh, that I use uh, three tools to help follow up. But you need to understand that uh, the follow up skill set is, is one of the most important skill sets because at the end of the day, uh, the payday is in the follow up. Uh, when you're in the real estate investing business, uh, you can do everything right, but if you don't follow up to make sure you're seeing it all through, you're not getting paid, and at the end of the day, you don't have a business. <laughs> so you want to make sure from a follow-up standpoint that you have the proper skill sets to, to stay on top of things, to follow it through. And there's going to be different stages of follow-up, uh, sometimes even just from a prospect standpoint, just because you get a call or you engage a prospect seller the first time doesn't mean, <coughs> excuse me, that they if they said no, that you can't get them even later. Or, you know, no can mean not now. Or just because you couldn't close them then, uh, sometimes it's a matter of, you know, building that relationship, building that trust where they got to know, like, and trust you over time. And, you know, you, you've, you've dealt with them for, 30, 60, 90 days, even sometimes a year before they decided that they were going to go ahead and sell. Um, it, it just, you want to be able to have follow-up skills to be able to stay on top of that. Um, because at the end of the day, the payday, you know, it takes a number of impressions from a marketing standpoint before someone decides to, 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 to make a, a, a decision to move. So you got to keep that in mind. Follow-up, follow-up, follow-up. Follow-up is also in, you know, whatever promises have been made. 
uh, whether it's with a seller or a buyer or uh, just something else that you've committed to, uh, that you agreed on, uh, you want to make sure on your part of that agreement, on your side of that agreement, that you don't forget. And you want to make sure that if it's involving dates and tasks and things of that nature, that you organize enough and you have a system to remind you to get this particular task done on this date. So, you know, you could have days uh, where your follow-up is in different degrees. You're, today, you're following up on a particular seller to possibly getting uh, get a contract. On the same day, you could be following up with the title company because you're supposed to be closing tomorrow. Uh, on the same day, you could be following up on uh, some phone calls that you received already uh, that, 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 you know, they left voicemails or whatever, and they, they're expecting to hear back from you. Because if you're, if they're calling around and they called you and you don't get back with them, guess what? They're going to call somebody else. So, uh, follow-up is very, very important. And I want to give you three tools, uh, that I would strongly recommend that you're incorporating your business. And sometimes, uh, it doesn't always have to be all at one time from an expense standpoint, but, uh, these uh, are some of these things you can build on your own. And since I'm talking to you as a new investor, I'm going to come at you from an inexpensive standpoint. First thing is, um, and this is something that I've already talked about in the organizational skill set, is what we call a DMO, a daily method of operation. And if you understand what that is, it's a tool that every day you're doing certain touch points. And primarily, the pri the, on that tool, that daily method of operation, the primary touch points you're going to do first are anything that's income producing. All right. And again, I've talked a little bit more about that in a different video, but also part of your DMO should be some areas of following up, you know, following up on leads that you received, uh, following up with, you know, maybe title company, you know, touching bases there. Uh, following up on some some prospects that you've been kind of talking to and nurturing, although you haven't been able to secure the deal, but some level of follow up and uh, having those notes on your daily method of operation. That's tool number one. Uh, tool number two, and this one actually is a money tool. Uh, and when I say money, it's part of your your infrastructure for your business. Is what's called a CRM or Customer Relations Manager. Because in those tools, they also could allow you to schedule follow-up on various calls and leads that you've gotten through that system. If it's some phone calls that you've gotten and they said, hey, call me back, you can usually set a particular uh, time and date for that callback in that CRM. And that CRM, depending on the type of CRM, can actually, when you're looking at it on a daily basis, can give you an alert as to these are the items that you need to deal with today or tomorrow or next week or whatever, and you have that already listed out, utilizing a CRM. CRM costs are all over the place, depending on the quality of CRM and the, the type of information you want to track in a CRM. Uh, uh, when you, if you're not able to, to spend on the CRM, hey, use an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> I know that's what I did when I first started. I used an Excel spreadsheet and I had columns of uh, the addresses and the contacts and names and phone numbers and all that. And the most important column I had were my, my follow-up date column. Uh, you know, dates of engagement, dates of follow-up, whether it's a follow-back up for a call or follow-back up on a contract that I already have with them. And, you know, let's just say I'm doing a 30-day out contract. Uh, I've got intermittent follow-up dates before I get to the 30th day because there are certain things I want to make sure are being done before we close on that property. Uh, there might be some things that needs to get done to close on that property. So, but long story short, I'm organized and making sure that I've got the follow-up pieces in that. And you can, again, start that with a, a uh, Excel spreadsheet. And probably the biggest tool uh, that I use uh, and I've been using this for years, even before I became an entrepreneur, even before my business, I used it uh, in the corporate world uh, when I was a, a, a retail executive. And simply is my Outlook calendar. And my Outlook calendar is synced with 
all of my devices from my tablets and my phones and my PC. Uh, if I have something in my calendar, it's going to show up on all, all of my devices. So I can definitely make sure. And I use not only just my calendar, but I actually set reminders. Uh, and those reminders are obviously to let me know that this is coming up from if I've got a flight coming up, sometimes I have a, a reminder that's a week out. So that way I know I have to prepare for travel and uh, for my flight and I'll have on my list that I need to pack or organize or prepare whatever I'm getting ready to do for my flight. Uh, same thing with, you know, my real estate business. If I've got to um, make some runs, uh, you know, I got a hot lead, automatically put in my calendar with a date, follow up, even reminders of travel time uh, because you know, uh, one thing I always tell my students is you, if, if you, you know, you want to be on time for any appointments you got. You, you don't want to be showing up late and being casual about it, uh, you know, being 10 minutes late, five minutes late. You, you, you want, in fact, you want to be early. Uh, in this business, with the amount of money and the time of people involved in this business, uh, it's a sign of disrespect to be late for a meeting. Uh, you're showing you're, you're showing disrespect to the other party if you're late for a meeting. So you definitely want to be on time. So in my calendars, uh, if I'm meeting with other investor buyers, uh, even my clients, because that's just a sign of respect as well. If they're saying, hey, come, you can come look at my house and I need to talk to you about selling and you're being late and casual about it, uh, they, they, that's just not good customer service. And so I make sure that in my calendar, when I have my reminders I also set up for travel time uh, with my location on. So uh, wherever I might be in the city or area, I'm going to get the heads up that I'm, you know, half hour out or two hours away or whatever. And then it, and, and a good system lets you know that traffic is tight. <laughs> so uh, even though it might be five minutes away, but if it's during rush hour, that five minutes might actually be about 45 or an hour. And so that travel time, uh, heads up is really really good, but you have to really really uh, Be keen on your follow-up. I tell you I lost a, a, a deal that I should never have lost uh, This was some years ago uh, when I um, And it was a, just an easy deal I only needed three grand to close the property. I had it. I just didn't do it I did the typical 30 day out even though uh, she uh, was really anxious to get out of there and uh, normally I would have a cadence in my 30 days of touching base with the seller every week letting them know where I am I didn't do that with her and by the time I got back to her uh, because she was so motivated to get rid of the property she ended up deeding it, the property back to the mortgage company which was painful because that was a good deal for me and I should have just uh, went on and closed it right away and I didn't because I was just kind of going some other directions as well thought I had this one in the bag blah 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 but um, live and learn you know I'm 130 transactions at this point so I, you kind of live and learn on those type situations but it's all in the follow-up all in the follow-up you got to have a follow-up skill set to be uh, successful in this business so if you like this kind of information please make sure that uh, you like this video even make some comments in this video let me know uh, that, that you're, you're digging it or uh, if you if you you know you got some things you want to talk about feel free to make some comments and I'll try to reply um, also uh, subscribe to this channel this is a mentoring coaching channel hopefully we are uh, coming across to you unlike any other you, you know YouTube channel or video seminars that you've got out there because there's just not not any grassroots uh, coaching and mentoring out there and that's what we offer here also if you want a, a much longer term one-on-one uh, -on -one type relationship free feel, feel free to book an 30-minute free consult with me in the real estate wholesale helpline link within the description uh, that at least get you on my calendar haha -ha, I have a calendar and that'll get you on my calendar for free well, we've got 30 minute block out of time where we can talk about you and your business and what you're trying to do. And I can give you some golden nuggets there. And uh, then we can even talk about uh, what the requirements would be for me to take you on as a student. 
uh, as one of my mentees where uh, I can help you get your business going in 30 to 60 days cash in your pocket uh, so if you want to do that click the link in the description and um, again I appreciate uh, you tuning in on today and hopefully at some point I'll see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. God bless. Hey, hey, Sammy, do the do rude back at you. Hey, uh, are you smelling what I'm cooking? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? You like these golden nuggets that we are dropping at you? Well, if you do, please like the video that you just seen. Also, subscribe to this platform. You can do that by hitting the red uh, subscribe now button somewhere here or there. Uh, look for it, hit the subscribe button. Uh, that would encourage me to continue to put out uh, more content like this. And, uh, Check out my library of other videos as well. Also, don't forget, if you need to set your appointment, the link is in the description, Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. And until then, I will see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. God bless Sammy. Doom, doom.